So then, now we're going to get to, now, you're, now you've done your job, you know, now we're three days in, uh, actually we're, we're the day of, we did all our job, we did all our marketing, we leveraged Anna, we leveraged Craigslist, we leveraged our open house splits, you know, we have all our flyers ready, we have everything ready to go, so what I like to call it is showtime. Like this is a, your day, your, your your time to shine. This is your this is when you go, regardless of what happened on Saturday night, regardless of what happened on Friday night, regardless if you had three deals fall out of escrow, regardless if your kids were pains in the butts that morning. This is when all that gets out the door. You're for, speaking from experience. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and you have and, and guess what? And you have three hours to perform basically, and that's why I call it showtime. You go on a listing appointment, you go on a buyer's presentation, you meet a client for the first time. It's showtime. It really is. Because you're not there for you, you're there for them, and you're there for them, for them to have a great experience. Yes. Right? The only time you cancel is if you're sick. Because yeah. you don't want to get them sick. Not my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so the biggest thing is think exposure, right? And that's what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You want to go there. Obviously, you want to try to get that house sold. Uh, the majority of, uh, statistically, National Association of Realtors say uh, that open houses sell 1% of our inventory. So are open houses statistically gonna sell the house you're in? No. What do you guys think? No. No. no, it's not gonna happen. But the purpose of an open house for us should be number one, to get the house sold. Number two is to gather as much information and meet as many people as we can mm-hmm. in a very passive way, right? Because you're not really selling. It's kind of now you become, instead of a, 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 a direct salesperson, now you're indirect because it's kind of like, think about like the a retail. People are walking into your store, taking a look at things and hopefully buying something. Where we're usually direct, we're usually calling out, we're usually figuring out who wants to buy, who wants to sell. That's direct, you know. So then, so that's what we have to think about, right? So, anyways, that's kind of me on a platform and going on tangents. So I apologize. So we got to think about exposure. You want to you want to set up your signs early, right? Like I said, don't set them up ten minutes before the open house. Do not do that. Um, this is what I'm going to encourage you guys. We have twenty five open house signs. Twenty five. So we have enough for everybody. But if, you, if, you, if you're going to make this part of your business plan, make sure that you do invest in open house signs with your name on it, your number. Because you want to brand yourself, right? Uh, I think if uh, your next closing or whatever it is. Too bad they don't have a little hook so you can do the riders. Or no. Anything. But for 200 bucks, tax write off, mm-hmm. and you guys could brand yourselves. You know, you got 10 open house signs, and you, take, you put those out every single open house you're going to do, right? Uh, so you want to put out your house. You want to put out your your open house signs early. You do that because, especially if you're going to do it at a place like on Sixth Street, because people are going to be driving by all day seeing that all day. And then at the at the house, you put the arrows. You know, hey, this way, this way, this way. Or that we come with arrows. And then on that sign, get one of those chalk signs that say "Open from one, two, three. Right. Yeah, put those bright. Yeah, or whatever it is. And from or for, if you you know if you guys really want to get custom for more, for early information. Call me directly at blah 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 blah, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So what you're doing now is not only are you driving people to your open house, but you're giving yourself exposure, you're giving the house exposure, you're meeting clients pre-event, which is fantastic. And it doesn't cost you anything. It costs you half an hour to go to put, put out your signs. But think early. You know, the earlier the better. And then when you're driving through to go to your open house because you already have your flyers in the car, you already have everything you need. You don't need to come to the office. Drive by your route and make sure that your signs are still up because sometimes they will. They'll not get knocked down. Kids will be driving by, the wind will knock them down, mm-hmm. and then just set them back up, right? Okay? So then you get there 20 to 30 minutes early. And that's what I mean. You don't want to get there five minutes before the open house. Get there 20 to 30 minutes early. What you do is you're going to stage the house now. You're going to get there, you're going to lock your door, you're going to turn on all the lights, you're going to open the windows if it's a little, let's say it's a vacant house and it smells a little, you know, a little uh, musky sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, if you haven't, you know, invested in one of those little plug things, I'd get a little plug thing, put it there in the morning as well. Whatever it is, just to make it make the experience more pleasant. If it's a cold day, make sure that it's at 72. If it's a hot day, make sure it's at 69. So people walk in, they feel refreshed, right? And again, that's all on you guys to think about and really um, discern whether or not what, what, what type of uh, environment you want to set for yourself and a client. Because remember, when people are walking into this house, even if it's not your listing, you, 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 that's your representation, right? So if they walk in, it feels cool, I don't want to be here, they associate that feeling with Maria. Maria was the one that created my door. And that's another thing that we'll go over now. Right? When you get that, that should only take you two, three minutes to flip on all the lights, lock it back up, then go to the neighbors. Five neighbors this way, five neighbors that way. 
because you're probably not going to talk to all the neighbors when you talk when you door knock before, and you're going to say, hey, just as a reminder, I'm going to be holding an open house today between one and three. Here's my card. Hand them the card. If anybody parks in your lawn, or does <laughs> right, or does anything that you don't like, just shoot me a text, and I'll try to take care of it. Is that okay? Yeah. Here you go. Boom. Next. 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 Oh, next. Yeah. So what have you done now, right? How many times have you talked to these guys? Twice. Twice. How many times have you asked them for a referral? Once. Did they know? No. But what are you showing? You're, you're gaining trust. You're showing longevity. Longevity. You're showing stability because you're there more often. The number one complaint that uh, consumers have about us as real estate agents is that we don't have any, we don't have communication or any good communication with them. That takes that away completely. Does that make sense for you? Yeah. Okay. Good. So you go back in. You know, hopefully that only takes you ten minutes. Now you got five minutes to spare. Keep your door locked. People will be waiting, hopefully, you know. Maybe you'll have a big line. You know, think about it like this. Like, when I was younger, I used to go to the nightclubs, right? So even though they opened at 10, they used to wait till, they used to make this big old long line, right? And not let anybody in until the line was long enough. So that's kind of the, that's, that's the feeling. You want people standing outside your open house. Because when people drive by because of the signs. They're like, wow, that's Exactly. Nice what, what, what's that? <laughs> Why is that so busy? Let's stop. It's an open house. Let's check it out, right? So, but you're going to open it at one. And during those five minutes, Call your potential buyers that have specifically for a property like that, or that may qualify for a property like that, or that I've told you I might be interested, right? And you say, hey, just a reminder, I'm holding, holding open house, send them texts. It doesn't matter, just communicate with them, right? And then this is, this is the big thing. Repetition is recognition. And I've said this many times, I know, and maybe you know, just went over here. But all this does that we've been, all the pre-work that we've done, Really, that's what you're doing is, is, is you're having them recognize you because of all the repetition you're doing, right? That's what I mean, get your open house signs, brand your list, brand your flyers, hand out your card when you're talking to them, and then kind of go about it that way. So anyhow, um, that's during the open house. When you're there, big smiles, make sure the house is presentable, right? That's a big thing. Uh, you know, even, your, even the top producers go out there before when they have a showing or whatever it is, they know how important it is to do the first kind of first impressions. You only get a first impression once, right? That's it. Okay. So make sure it's great. I mean, I know, uh, you know, Christine, for example, uh, doing about 60, 80 deals a year. If there's a bathroom that needs to be cleaned before the showing, she'll go and clean. She'll do it. She'll do it because she knows how important that first impression is, right? So anyways, that's a big deal. When they're in the open house, uh, there's a lot of different ways that you could go about doing the open house. I always... Uh, I used to determine when I was doing open houses, determine it. Uh, is that a real word? Determine it? Yes, yes it is. Uh, determine <laughs> determine my, my, my style of selling there, depending on the, on the amount of people that showed up. If I had one person every hour, I'm going to try to sell them. You know, and I'm going to walk with them and get to know them and make them feel a little uncomfortable yes. because they're already there. So I'm going to make them feel a little uncomfortable. Do you, that's okay my that. question. Do you allow them to just no. go and cruise themselves? or No. No, you have one chance with these guys. Okay. And it's not even like, Hey, look at this plant. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at that. You should buy because of the plant. Come on, come on, buy, buy, buy. <laughs> right? That's annoying. No, but but it's like you're you're, you're if you have a if you have an eleven hundred square foot home, twelve you got, you're gonna do one that's about twelve hundred square feet. It's a small house. You get through like that. Yeah. Last thing you want them to do is kind of like we do at the broker caravan. You go and then they run through the house and then leave. Like that's what do you get? You know. Nothing. So so what you want to do if you have a lot of people, then it's different. You can't do this. Right. But you, you, you know you're at the door. In. Yeah. Yeah. And the last thing you want to do is be waiting at the kitchen counter like this, right, and be like, uh, oh, somebody's here. No, it's like, hey, you're there for three hours, that's it. Go wait for them at the door and greet them at the door, because they're coming into your house. Everybody wants to feel welcome. Have your flyer, you're here, there's a door. Say, hey, how are you? I'm George, Berkshire Hathaway, nice to meet you. Yeah, hey, come on in. Here's the flyer with all the information right here, okay? It'll give you the bedroom, the bath. Just so you know, the seller did upgrade, blah, 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 whatever it is. If you have any questions, you know, just feel free to contact me. Right now, I'm going to go talk to the other person that's there. And then that's, then you let them walk in, okay? When do you have them, like, sign in and stuff? Well, this, at the end. At the end. At the end. Okay. So this don't is what have I'll, them do it prior. Uh, I wouldn't. Um, okay, but what if you have, at that point now, a couple more couples come through. This becomes the issue. And you don't want to lose the fact that you wanted them to sign in, but you got a two-story and you're trying to. That, that that becomes the issue, yeah, and that's why you, you so know. So I do have them sign about. in when they first get 